There's too much bootleg. Loof trousers. Loof trousers. So I've actually never played Loof trousers. Oh god. Oh, that was the bomb. Probably don't fire that. Yeah, I never got into, uh, Loof, Thra Loof Throusers at all. Not really my kind of game. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I see. If you press fire, you lock yourself into direction. So it looks like heat is, is the, whoops. Well, I blew up. Okay. Oh, I see. I've got three... Three lives. So heat is my... is my health. And when it chills back out again... When it chills back out again, I'm good. Yeah, I, I never played any of the... Actually, I've barely played any Flambeer games, period. I played, um... Oh, being near the water is what's what's killing me. Ow. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I played Super Crate Box. I played, uh... Obviously, I played Nuclear Throne. But I never... Wait, no. Shop. Okay. Sh shoot bullet... Three bullets at the same time. Upgrade the size of your bullets. Beer shot. Hold on, how much money do I have? Oh, and it's gone. So there is a shop. There is an uh, there is an upgrade system that helps. Increases your speed. Let's grab a rear shot at the very least. So hopefully I can get some more. Yeah, I like. I'm digging this one. We'll have to pick up uh, probably triple shot. Okay, so if I don't shoot at all, the heat goes away pretty quick. Does look like I'm not getting a whole lot of money. So maybe butt shot was not so worthwhile. We'll see. But yeah, this is actually a pretty pretty solid advertisement for actual loof throusers. that actually seems like it might have been kind of good. Okay, there it is. Because if if this is as solid as... Can, can somebody actually uh, let me know on that one? No, oh, my money! Oh, I got it anyway. Oh, the control's good in general. Yeah, for all of the demakes, the controls are pretty good. I I mean, I, I would say the... Uh, I would say the caveat is, like, they do play a little awkwardly. Oh, does my butt shot just... My butt shot just, just fires, regardless. That's kind of cool. Let's see, but yeah, uh, for somebody that's played Luthrazers before, uh, was it this good? Stay away. Okay, there's a whole bunch. I really want to get that uber shot or... Whoops. Ow. Ooh. That got close to bad. Honestly, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, so the boat seemed to be the main source of funding here. Okay, let's go from there. Let's see. Oh, thank you, uh, Anna, for the three-month resub. Oh my gosh, E3 was so hyped. Yeah! 
Yeah, let's talk about Spirit Spirit Fair right now. So, uh, for those of you that missed it, oh, I can't go to the shop, or I can blow the shop up. It actually does not seem to be taking any damage. Well, what what can we grab while we're here? Oh, no damage when uh, touching the water. That's that's worth it. No, I'm done. So I want to save up two two fifty or five hundred. We'll see. Okay, uh, but yeah, being able to skirt the water is actually going to make a big difference to me. Whoops, that's the shop again. Okay, and the answer is no. But yeah, Spirit Fairs looks amazing. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have... Uh, let's see, I don't know how many of you guys have, have seen... Oh, I think the uh, shop despawns. Let's see. But yeah, I don't know how many people saw the, uh, the Microsoft e E3 coverage today. But, uh, because they don't really have a whole lot of exclusives of their own, they like to showcase, uh, a bunch of actually fairly decent indie games. Uh, so very specifically, we got to see, uh, Spirit Fairs, which I think is my personal favorite, just because it looks so heartwarming. And, uh, is it Path to the, Path to the Woods? Path, Path to the Forest? I forget. Uh, but... That one looks... Uh, both of those look fantastic. And then obviously Ori in the Blind Forest. That's a little bit more Microsoft, admittedly. But, like, still pretty good. Oh, God. Lots of boats. But, yeah, some really solid contenders. Way to the Woods, that's it. I... Well, I'm already thinking bootlegs. Way to the Woods, Path to the Woods. Deer game! Actually, reminds me of Deer God uh, immediately. Oh, shoot. My money. But yeah, it's good to see that Microsoft is actually, uh... It's good to see... Okay. It's good to see that Microsoft is actually... At least kind of making use of its clout or something. I don't really know how to describe it, but like... Microsoft, I I feel like, has always been a little bit underwhelming for the last generation, which is actually pretty rough. Because, like, for a lot of people, Xbox is their only, like, platform and whatnot, so it's kind of nice to see that they're working on something. Admittedly, it seems like their answer is just making it so that... Oh, this is the shop. Uh, yeah, we can go to the shop here. Let's see. Increase your resistance to damage and overheating. Ooh. Yeah, would like that. But we're getting triple shot first. Let's see. But yeah, it's good exposure. They're throwing the influence around in the right ways. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. That, like, there's a ton of indie games out there that... Yeah, could actually use the promotion. That some of them are, like, actually amazing. And so, this is actually really fun. Admittedly, I was hoping more upgrades would show up over time. They don't. I would, I would play this at some point if the upgrades were like, uh, kept scaling up further and further. I, I need to play some more like, I need to play some more, oops. Let's see, I don't think I have anything. What is that? Orbital assist, oh. I gotta get some more here. Uh, blah. Yeah, Orbital Assist might not be a terrible idea, but I, I'd love to play something like this that just, like, slowly scales up. I know that's what a lot of, uh... I know that's what, like, a lot of shmups are, but I always find, like, they scale up maybe a little bit too much for me. I am, I am a complete weenie. When it comes to those, whoops. Let's see, Wonder, what are your thoughts on Pokemon spoilers? I mean... Oops, killed myself. Damn it. Okay, let's try that one more time with less death. Because I'm actually, of all of the D makes, I think this one is by far my favorite. I think I'm going to go for the. Uh... Wow. This got kind of hairy. Ah! Ah! I think it's because I I popped my bombs off. 
pretty quick the last time and just blew up. Let's see, original loot that Thrasher is definitely harder. Does it have the upgrade system though? Because like these upgrades are actually kind of enjoyable. Okay, now it's just boats. Oh, that's shop. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think the back shot... Oh, that's my own... That's my own ship. I don't think the back shot was worth my money. Mega shot w was, though. And being able to touch the water was actually really handy. But not amazing. I think I'm going to save up for that uber shot again and then try and go for the triple shot, maybe? Alright. Hit up the shop. Probably not have enough. Because, yeah, I don't want ship speed. We could get the orbital assist. I guess I have to buy something. Let's grab the, uh, snorkel. Because snorkel is useful regardless. Yeah, water waterproof is awesome. Because any enemy planes that try and come after me get wrecked. Whoops. Okay. There we go. So yeah, now we go up for the 250 if I can. And we'll go from there. Whoops. But yeah, honestly, like, I don't know. I, I guess part of it is I'm not entirely sure... Pokemon needs to be part of the E3 conversation yet. I, I'm tentatively excited for... Oops. I'm tentatively excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield, but to be totally honest, I... I may have... Maybe have become, like, a little bit tepid on Pokemon as they've aged. I really liked Let's Go, which is probably not what most people would expect. It was very simple and almost a little bit boring, but the fact that I could play it co-op with Shell was just incredible. Like, I cannot, I cannot under, understate how satisfying it is to play, like, a, an old favorite of mine from when I was a kid, as, like... Let's see. An old favorite of mine as a kid with Shell. Because, like, just sta sitting next to each other talking, like, it was kind of fun. But being able to go, like, full double battle mode with her as, like, co-op buddies was enjoyable. Unfortunately, the game was not at all balanced. So it was just like, well... But I... I kind of have fallen off the map for, like, mainline Pokemon games. I played... I've played all of them. With the exception of... the twos. I... well, no. That's not entirely true. I've actually played, uh... Oh, let's grab the, uh... let's grab Big Shot. There we go. Let's see, what was it? I played Black and White. I played X and Y. Well, I think I played Black. I played X. Or was I? No, I was Y. Whoa. Where did these guys come from? Let's see. But yeah, I didn't I didn't play Black 2 until much later, and I actually rather liked Black 2. I thought that was pretty good. Um And then I didn't get around to I didn't finish Sun and Moon. I thought it was way too easy. Still do. Which amuses me because I technically Let's Go P Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are by far the easiest out of all of them. Just the gimmick of having co-op multiplayer really makes a massive difference, damn it. I didn't realize there was an enemy boat there, but that's okay. What the? Oh, shop. No, we're not, we're not gonna have enough money. I wonder if uh, the enemy ships are vulnerable to water. That is an interesting question. We'll see. Uh, 
What else was there that I see? Ghostwire seems kind of fun. Very supernatural. I mean, I think it was like this kind of weird Japanese rapture game, which... Like, that's... that's rad. Kind of no matter what it ends up being, as long as it, like, plays well, it's... I'm excited for it. I should probably go back and play, uh... I should probably go back and play Evil Within at some point. And see what those games were about. Because I heard... I heard all right things about the first one, and I heard the second, like, improved upon the formula pretty well. Then I haven't heard anything... apart from that. Like, it's... weird. I'm trying to think of other games that have really stood out to me. Uh, I mean, interestingly enough, Bethesda actually had quite a lot of games that I was... Was, is, oh, shop. Was, is, still am kind of excited for? What is this, actually? Oh, that's, that's rear shot again. Yeah, I don't need it. We'll go on the next one. We'll see. Let's see, but, like, I'll probably play the Wolfenstein. I should probably sit down and actually, like, burn through, uh, Wolfenstein 1 and 2 before, uh, before the, uh, Wolfenstein. Is it? It's New Blood, right? Because it's New Blood, Old Blood, Next Order, and then 2. I don't remember if 2 had a tagline. Like, I honestly have no idea if 2, two has a tagline, or even, like, a title or anything like that. Should probably look it up, just so I know what I'm talking about. I- unfortunately, it's weird. I've never got into- I- I never really got into shooters that much. Uh, even on my YouTube career, for the most part, like, I've only covered a handful of them. Uh, and like- okay, New Colossus, that's what it is. Oh, shoot! Okay, there we go. And we're gonna have a triple shot. Perfect. Yeah, kill the UFO. Okay, so we got that. So next up, save for armor. Okay, but yeah, new Colossus. I... I don't know. I think they all looked really fun to me. I just never got around to them in, in the same way. I... I think when it comes down to it, just like, AAA games have never... been my, like, bread and butter on this channel. I'm much more about, like, weird and... and, like, indie experimental nonsense. The stranger the better, I guess, is the... the way I describe it. And I really do like strange games. I mean, like, not the, like, really ridiculous ones. Like, I'm probably not going to play, uh, kids. Uh, the, by the people that made Plug and Play, because that was... I was wondering where all the enemies are in this, and I think the answer is they only spawn if you actually get near the top of the screen. And because I don't see Commander Keen reboot, I am not at all interested in that, to be totally honest. If it was a platformer, I'd be 100% down, but the Commander Keen reboot, as far as I'm... As far as I'm aware, is like... Hell if I know even what it is. Okay, so I could do rear shot. I think I want to save for the shield upgrade. Shouldn't shouldn't be too much more to get here. So you really want an earthworm gym reboot? There is one actually. Like there there literally is a earthworm gym reboot coming out sometime in the next year. Unfortunately, it's coming out on a uh, on a specialized like weird retro console. Uh, let's see. I don't remember the. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, though. Yeah, really strange indies are how I found you. Got Masters of Anima. Need help, uh... Needed help on a part. I was the only Let's Play. That's a shame. That game... That game actually was really solid. I, I rather enjoyed it. It... It has it... It had its... I'm gonna say faults, but, like... It was a satisfying game. But, yeah, no... It, 
absolutely weird indies are, are how people find me, and I'm glad for that, because it kind of lets me just explore the more earnest and interesting games as opposed to, like, get, get really hung up on, like, big AAA stuff. I don't think I could ever do that kind of grind just because they tend to get a little bit... Well, there's almost, like, a dearth of AAA games. Like, they're so calculated. Like, there's, like, maybe one or two good AAA games that come out in a given... Oh, we should probably hit, hit the shop first. Gotta grab some armor. Uh, let's see. We'll save up. Next up, I'll go for the... Ar uh... I'll go for the, uh, the orbital assist next, I think. I'll go from there. And then we'll have pretty much seen all of my upgrades, and then we can move on to Gato Roboto. Because, while I'm enjoying this, it is a little bit repetitive. Unless they really start adding, like, even more stuff to the shop. Because it would be nice if you could keep upgrading it, so, like, eventually it just, like, everything is bullets. Ah. Died. That? Let's see. Let's grab that orbital assist. Because, yeah, I don't think I care for the engine. Nope. Oh, well. I guess I'm getting the engines. Stupid oversensitive stick or something like that. Did you want to just lose life? Yeah, I did. Oh god, it's gonna be even worse with these engine upgrades. Cause like I actually have less fine control over what I'm doing. And now I'm just now I'm just careening. There we go. Got it. This is hard. Going faster was rough. Only a little bit more money and we can get our hands on that. Only a little bit more money and we can get our hands on that. That last upgrade. I guess I could po probably pop a bomb. Holy crap, this got hectic. Stupid UFOs, leave me alone! Ah! Ah! Okay, let's go to the shop. Let's buy what we need. Okay, orbital assist, perfect. So it's just a it's just a shuriken that follows me around. Woo god. Getting slammed by one of those UFOs is rough. And I'm dead. Well, there we go. That was fun. I definitely the best of the D makes, in my opinion. I like the upgrade system. I wish there were more, maybe. But it's also one of those where it's really not meant to be played for too long. Unless you're insane. Some people are. Eh, that's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's go play the next one.